In this video, I'd like to contrast two extreme cases of elasticity, and when it and that's when it's perfectly elastic or perfectly inelastic. Now let's start with the perfectly elastic demand. So recall that the idea of elastic demand is when the relative change in quantity demanded, so the percentage change in quantity demanded is much higher than the percentage change in uh, in price. So what that means is that even if price would increase a bit, the quantity demanded would decrease a lot. So let's write it in simple ways like that. If price increases, the quantity demanded would, incre would decrease a lot. Now when we go to the extreme of perfectly elastic demand, that means that the reaction in demand is ridiculous. People just don't want to buy at other prices. So if you have price and quantity, that is how it would look like. So this would be the demand graph. What this is proving is that if the price increases, let's say this is 10 euros price, the price is in euros. If the price goes above 10 euros, there's no quantity demanded. Like, let's give an example. When the price is 11, can we, can we match to any, to any quantity over here? We can't because there's literally no line, no demand over here. Let's go to a different case. What if we would decrease the price? I mean. I mean, I mean, you know, we decrease the price, we expect people to buy, but again, no one wants to buy at that specific price. It's just they don't want it. They want it exactly at 10 euros, and at 10 euros, they're going to buy no matter what. So if we change, if we deviate slightly from the price up or down, that's it. We cannot sell anything. Now let's go to the other extreme case of perfectly inelastic demand. So let's draw the graph over here. And before that, let's do the same as we as we did with perfectly elastic. Let's just remind ourselves, what does that mean? Well, that means that the percentage change in quantity demanded is less than the percentage change in price, meaning that people don't react much to the changes in prices. If price increases, then quantity demanded falls just a bit. It falls less than the increase in price. So if we show it on a graph, how does that look like? Well we're gonna have a ridiculous case again price and quantity and in that case our inelastic perfectly inelastic demand it would look like that meaning that we really really do not react to prices at all no matter what the price is and let's give some numbers again even if it's 10 euros this is in euros even if it's 10 euros we're gonna demand let's say seven pieces uh, of, of let's say cheese if the, even if that cheese is becoming really exclusive for 15 euro a piece, we're still demanding our seven. Even if even if it 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 decreases in price, let's say to to six euros, we're still demanding our, our seven. We have a specific quantity that we want to buy, no matter what the price. So to think a bit more practical, can we give some real life examples? Well, we could go to an extreme where maybe we need a specific drug for our health in a specific dose. Let's say seven pills and we're willing to pay for those seven pills any price along this curve and that's the idea of perfectly inelastic demand these are extremes these are not likely to happen in reality but as we said just now with the medicine this could be the case the most important thing to understand is the intuition so the intuition is that here we really really do not react to changes in prices and here we just react incredibly much without demanding anything besides for a certain price Hope this makes sense. We are done.